Security concerns are heightened across Europe in the wake of the terror attacks. KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo is live with more on the frayed nerves in Paris and the possibility of U.S. action following the terror spree. Christy? Andrea, the president of France has called the attacks on Paris an act of war. And today, French warplanes took to the air with the help of U.S. intelligence, even as Parisians mourned. Firecrackers send mourners running in Paris, leaving no doubt the City of Lights is a city living in fear. Today, France launched a massive airstrike against ISIS targets. Ten fighter jets dropped 20 bombs on the group's training camp and command centers in its de facto capital in Syria. Here in the U.S., international relations professor at Pepperdine, Robert Lloyd, says the airstrikes are just the beginning. He tells us the U.S. could be called on to join the response. Some members of the U.S. Congress have said that uh, France should invoke uh, Article 5 of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which is an article basically all for one, one for all, providing for the common defense. So that an attack on France would technically mean an attack on the United States. Meanwhile, the hunt for those responsible has spilled over into Belgium. Police have zeroed in on a rental car found near the concert hall where dozens were killed by terrorists. The car was rented in Belgium, and officials in Brussels say seven people connected to the attacks have been arrested, including two French citizens. There is a lot of intelligence that is shared among the countries and that has been helpful in identifying individuals. In fact, just one day before the attack, Iraqi officials say they warned the French that ISIS was planning on taking hostages, bombings and assassinations and said they knew of a sleeper cell in France. French security officials have been quoted as saying the warnings did not include specifics on a place or time. President Obama is now under renewed pressure to intensify U.S. action against ISIS. He's expected to speak tomorrow morning in Turkey, where he's attending the G20 summit. Peter, back to you.